Welcome to Edinburgh! naman mga Mondinatics, si Mondi ay pupunta ng Scotland. Let's go! Grabe mga Mondinatics, first time in my life na naka-experience ako ng missing luggage. So, binigyan nila ako ng form. Darating daw sa hotel ko tomorrow. Hopefully, sana dumating siya. Pero, ay, nakaka-stress ka. So, eh, nandun pa naman yung mga brief ko. Paano na yan? Jokes. Mga Mondinatics, I'm finally in Edinburgh Airport. Ito na tayo sa hotel. Sabi guys, yung platform number one, taakit ka pa pala ng stairs. Okay. Edinburgh is Scotland's compact hilly capital. It has a medieval old town, an elegant Georgian new town with gardens and neoclassical buildings. Now we are passing by Karuber's Close and I love the graffiti and I love how the street looks like. It's a very cool tunnel for me actually. Grabe mga Mondinatics, ang layo ng room ko. 843. Oh my goodness. Ilang minuto na ako naglalakad, wala pa rin ako sa room ko. Ooh, itong aking room. Wow guys, napaka modern itong aking bed. Let's check na natin yung view sa window kung maganda. Ah, pangit yung view. <laughs> check natin yung sa CR. Itong aking bathroom. Maliit na shower guys. Pero pwede naman na sa akin. Medyo maliit. Walang bathtub. Okay. Taco. Totoo pala yung sinasabi nila. Kaya kapag meron kayong iti-check in na bag, make sure na lahat ng valuables hindi ninyo nilalagay doon. Kasi kapag nawala yun, paktay na this. Buti na lang. Kinakabahan ako. Butihin natin kay mga brief ko. Or else wala akong pang brief na <laughs> Anyways guys, nasa sobrang stress ko. Kakain muna ako ng Jollibee. Let's go. Along the way, I saw Scott Monument, West Register House, also known as Harry Potter's Gringotts Wizarding Bank, the Scottish National Gallery, and of course, the 10th largest castle in the world, Edinburgh Castle. I'm done eating at Jollibee! Yay! 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 Sobrang gutom na gutom ako. Nag-order ako ng two pieces na chicken joy. Pero ang nakuha ko, puro ano ba yan? Wala man lang Thai part or chicken legs. Puro mga breast. So wala siyang ka lasa lasa pero re-reklamo pa ba ako, di ba? Order din ako ng dalawang peach mango pies. Dalawang rice ko. So, balik na ako sa hotel. Matutulog ako na maaga. Good morning mga Mondinatics. I just checked my phone. Di pa rin dumating yung luggage ko. Magsishower lang ako. And then I'm going to meet my dear friend, Aurea. So let's go shower! I'm finally going to meet Aurea downstairs. But before that, let me show you. Outfit of the day. Not that it matters. Let's go!
Finally, namit ko na si Aurea. Isa siya sa mga risk kung ba't nandito ka sa UK, guys. <laughs> Ah, yung unicorn. Unicorn lang yung pwedeng tumama sa layo na Ah, so magkalaban sila noon. Ang galing mo naman. Alam mo itong mga bagay na ito. Malas yan eh. Ay, yung heart na ito huwag dadaanan kasi malas. Ah, bakit daw? Kasi yung sinakunan ko na ulit, yung order na may mayroon. Mahirap. Tapos itong puso na ito nagre-represent ng equality. Ah, Mag-spit nga tayo? <coughs> Nahiya ako mag-spit! <coughs> Sabi ni um, Orea, kahit saan daw maglakad dito sa Edinburgh, may bangkay, may ghost. Okay, three, feet away from three feet away from each other. So, ilang bangkay na nadaanan natin ngayon? <laughs> Ang dami na pala! Ilang metro na yung ilakad natin ulit. <laughs> so guys, ito pala yung resting place ng isang tao. So mag-ingat daw tayo. Si yan guys, may owl. Daming tourist. Upon seeing Tallbooth Kirk, make a quick turn to Upper Bow. Head over to Victoria Terrace to see Victoria Street. From there, you will see W Bow, also known as Harry Potter's Diagon Alley, a sloping road with 19th century buildings. Did you know that the most famous street in Edinburgh, the Royal Mile, is not actually a mile long. It stretches 1 mile and 107 yards, so almost. Did you know that Edinburgh Castle sits on a 700 million year old extinct volcano named Castle Rock? From the Edinburgh Castle Esplanade, you can enjoy the view of Edinburgh City. Probably in the future, I'm coming back because there are so many things to explore in Edinburgh and so many beautiful places to take photos of. Miles Court was built in 1690 as housing for middle-class professionals, a world heritage building that houses university students now. We are now approaching the Writers' Museum, which celebrates the lives of three giants of Scottish literature, Robert Burns, Sir Walter Scott, and Robert Louis Stevenson. Blessed be Semphi life with Hovind Dry. Okay. It's home to portraits, rare books, and personal objects of famous Writers Scottish Museum. writers. We are just passing by Edinburgh Theological Seminary, which is connected to the Free Church of Scotland. Scotland has so much rich culture and history that it has six World Heritage Sites. If you do love history, this is the best place to be in. Kain tayo with owl. Get, get owl. Corn me. This is Balmoral, which is named the first and only hotel in Scotland to receive a five-star award from Forbes. Calton Hill. So that's the map. Calton Hill is a mix of bustling commercial areas and quiet residential streets. The hill itself, with its city views, is home to the Collective Contemporary Art Gallery and the Unfinished National Monument. Newtown, Scotland. Ito yung map niya guys. So sabi ni Ao, di daw na kumpleto. Kasi wala na silang budget. Maganda pa rin naman. Yay! Once ko lang ginawa yun. Hindi ko na winawin. Sa mga Monday Natics, ito pala'y dating isang active volcano. Anong name? Arthur's Seat. Dun. Arthur's Seat. Ay, yan pala yung Arthur's Seat. Itong yeah. flat. So guys, ito yung Hollywood Castle. Kapag nakataas yung yellow flag, may royalty. Nakita daw ni Aojan si Kate Middleton. 
<laughs> That's the National Monument of Scotland and many people take photos from the other side so I wanted to take one too but I didn't know it was a challenge. <laughs> Grabe guys, um, I tried climbing this pero hindi ko talaga kaya. Ang taas kaya may batong maliit na yun. Oh. May mga canyon canyon pa tayo dyan. Gusto ko sakyan to guys, yung mga canon canon. Yan guys, sasakyan ko. Ano ito? Ang sakit, ang sakit, nakatakot. Yan, ang sayo guys, is makikita nyo yung view ng Edinburgh from here. This is the Dougald Stewart Monument and is one of the best-known landmarks on Calton Hill and plays an important role in the aesthetic composition of the hill due to its prominent position. This is the City Observatory, also known as the Calton Hill Observatory, and it was an astronomical observatory on Calton Hill in Edinburgh, Scotland. Many changes occurred in this place, but in 2018, Collective reopened the City Observatory site as Collective, a contemporary art center and restaurant. The City Dome is now converted into a children's somewhat art playground where they can play and express themselves through art. So for that, so sabi yung mga ribbon, pwede daw ninyong ilagay kahit saan. Free play for everyone. We are now headed to Dean Village, a beautiful oasis right by the water of Leith and situated 5 minutes away from Princess Street. It was previously where milling of water mills took place, of which remains of this can still be seen by visitors. At the heart of the village is Well Court, the most iconic building in the village. It was built in the 1800s and housed local workers who worked there. Courtyard, guys. Wow. Wow! So we're finally here at Dean's Village. Oh, nga, yun parang Sweden nga. Nandito kami sa Dean's Village, so I can feel like I want to sing. We are now heading towards Dean Bridge, an elegant bridge built in 1830, soaring 32 meters above the river. A gateway to five. Alam nyo ba guys, hindi ko man lang alam na yung dinaanan pala namin ng Orea kanina, dito oh. So we walk through here, then going down. Hindi ko man lang nalaman. Sabi nga ni Orea, yan ang nakaka-amazing sa Edinburgh. Hindi mo alam ko ano dinadaanan mo sa baba. <laughs> kung ano pala na sa baba. Kung anong nandun sa baba sa dinadaanan mo. Something like that. We are now walking along the water of Leith, the main river flowing through central Edinburgh. At the center of St. Bernard's Well stands a marble statue of Phygeia, goddess of health. The mineral water from it is believed to have curative properties. Bye all! Bye -bye. Thank you! Bye bye! Tapos na yung time to with Orea. Ang saya kasi ang dami kong napuntahan. Tinuro niya ako sa mga spots na hindi usual na pinupunta ng mga tao. Meron yung parang mga hill, mga nature, which is really nice. 